Ladies, if you're in a relationship, listen up. I've got some great advice to you on how to get from bad or good to absolutely great. And you have to eliminate a little thing that I call the bitch method. Now, I am well aware of the bitch method because it is something that I practice and it ran some negotiations that I made with my husband into the ground. So I'll give you a little backstory on this. Uh, you know, some of you who've already been following me, you know that my husband and I went through some really difficult times before we got to the point where we are today, which is not a single fight in three years. Hallelujah, it's so good. Incredible kissing, cuddles, love is a verb. It is the best relationship you can possibly imagine, but I had to get there. And one of the ways that I had to use to get there was tossing out what I'm calling today the bitch method. What is the bitch method? It's when you say, I'm not gonna reward what you're doing right today because of what you did wrong yesterday. So you're kind of taking this pain and this hurt and you're carrying it into the future of your relationship. So for instance, with my husband, one of the things that I wanted him to do so that I could feel better was tell me where he was going when he was going someplace so I could feel like we had a little bit more of a connection. I could feel, you know, kind of like a little bit less of an idiot sometimes because people would say, well, what's your husband doing? And I'd be like, I don't know because he doesn't tell me shit. So I negotiated with him that he would tell me when he was going somewhere and he did that. But because I was lugging around some hurt in a briefcase and not letting it go, I was vomiting that hurt into my actions. And so instead of responding favorably when I would get that text, I'm going here, I would ignore it. And I'd kind of punish him for the hurt that I was still feeling. And what happened is he started thinking, why am I doing this? Why I agreed to do it, I am doing it, I'm getting nothing for it, I still feel like we're having a shit relationship, there is no reward for my actions. And so he started getting angry for the effort he was putting in that wasn't being recognized. So take that out. When you ask for something from your partner and they do it, reward it, no matter what hurt or pain you're lugging around, in that moment, you need to let them know that they did something right so that they do it again. If anybody watches Dr. Phil, you're well aware of one of his sayings, which is, it takes a thousand attaboys to undo one, you're not good enough. And you need this in your relationship. You need to have some reward for good behavior because look, you want this back, don't you? It's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first. So if you're gonna negotiate something with your partner, then you wanna reward them for doing it, just like you would want them to reward you for doing something right in your relationship too. Now, if you like my advice, I want you to come to my website, canadasdatingcoach.com or lovemaker.love. I've got a free book for you. I've got tons of free advice. I've got a YouTube channel with lots of videos for you. And of course, my Facebook Lives, Instagram, Twitter, iTunes, girls, I am everywhere. So whatever you need, shoot me some questions. I'm gonna post them for you. I'll talk to you soon.